at what uh, played out in the nation last week or two weeks about the uh, sex tape of young children or children to so to speak and today on good morning anambra we call it a very important point to bring in somebody that is chief coach jersey coaching services obina jersey Badolo, to talk to us how we can monitor uh, children's use of the internet because whether we like it or not the internet has come to stay welcome to the studio thank obina. you thank you so much all right obina i don't know how you can describe uh, what we are seeing today the uh, do i call it proliferation of the internet by the young ones uh, what's your description about the whole thing, how it is going? You know, how, would, how do you see it, the proliferation of the Internet by the young ones? Um, well, um, I think um, it is something that I would say that um, is expected. Mm. It's expected in the sense that um, at in different stages of human life, we have people that are supposed to be guiding us at every stage. You understand? Because there is a stage in your life where anything they give to you, you will not be able to manage it very well. You understand? So I really expect it. So, but um, the entire thing, I think I will have to blame the parents. Yes, I have to blame the parents of today because um, I remember growing up um, and when I was in year one, my dad have already seen that um, I'm someone that is techie. I'm a techie person. I love computer and I do a lot of things with computer. And I remember meeting him and I said to him that, Dad, I need a system. And when I told him I need a system, he said, the truth or the fact is that you really need a system because you are doing a lot with it. But I don't think um, it's the right time for me to buy a system for you. Mm -hmm. And he didn't buy a system for me. But the system I used as a student, I bought it myself. You understand? Mm -hmm. So he knows that I needed it, but he doesn't have time to supervise. He's not available to supervise my usage of that, okay. that system. He said he's not going to buy it for me. Mm -hmm. You understand? But um, these days, we as parents, we have become so careless. So busy. We have become so careless in the sense that sometimes we even doing it to measure class. You know, my, I bought a, I bought Suso phone for my child and all those things. And anything you are, you are giving your child access to and you're not available to monitor that child, don't make that child have access to it. But that's where the entire problem is. Even if you don't have the proper knowledge to be able to help um, to monitor that child, then don't allow that child to have access to it. It is better it doesn't have access to it than you have access to it and it destroys that child. All right. Now, we, we know that growing up, <laughs> Uh, hardly maybe let me use we grew up in the village actually you know in the village you may come to a community in uh, you see one family having a television not everybody owns television then even people that have it there is this television that they lock they there is door they lock it you know even telephone there is this, this telephone that they put key you know, so you can't just make call, but I think you can answer calls there or something like that. So uh, that era has passed. Now, why do you think it is important to really monitor children's use of the internet? Okay, why I think it's important is this. You know, there is an age, like I've always, I've always said, do you know that um, there's an age that that a child will be exposed to some things, he will not have the right judgment to know the kind of decision to take. To take. You understand? There's an, there's an age that a boy will be aroused. He'll be, he will sleep with anything, even animal, just to satisfy his sexual urge. Mm -hmm. You understand? If he sees his sister, he'll sleep with his sister. Because at that age, what is after is just to satisfy that sexual urge. Mm -hmm. You understand? So at that point where this child don't have, cannot be able to take the right judgment, it is better you don't, you monitor him and make sure he's not exposed to that. And it's even a time where they can be able to explore things that would damage them or, or, or affect them in the future. 
because they don't even have the proper education about what they are into. You understand? And um, the internet is a place. Is a very internet is is a very good place. It has a lot of things that um, both the young, both the old can benefit from. But at the same time, also it is it also been saturated with a lot of things that will also affect people negatively. And if it's affecting the older generations negatively, what will not happen to the younger ones who don't have, who cannot be able to take, can, can take the proper judgment? Mm. So for me, it's, it's, it is better for us to, it's either you are, you, are, you, are, you are giving them access in a way you can be able to monitor them or you don't give them access at all. Okay, the program is Good Morning Anambra, monitoring children's use of the internet. And let me quickly let you know that it is audience participatory. You can call to make your own opinion count. Or you can also go to our Facebook page on ABS television to drop your comment there. Uh, we are going to bring it up in the course of our discussion this morning. I still have Obinna Mwabadolu in the studio. Now, Obinna. This is the era of uh, technology. This is the era, even the television we watch today is not as it were before. You know, that time there is banned, time banned for every show on the TV. It's no longer the same, except for very few, like the play of alcohol or something that the NBC said is from 10 p.m. So now, how do we go about this whole thing? How do we? monitor them because a lot of parents are not even at home so what do you think well i, I think um you know before now you know um taking care of a child is everybody's responsibility more uh -huh. but kita or just like that you know it's now you the father and the mother that have to do everything even sometimes your siblings may not even want you because they don't know how your wife will feel or your or you will feel when they try to discipline your child. Mm. So somehow, because of those things, people tend to mind their own business. That have actually created more work for us as parents. And now, the more work you've created for us, yet there is so much pressure in the country that people now, the wife is working, the husband is working, mm. that we now expose our child to, to other people, other people's arm to train them. In the, in the name that we are working or we are doing business. I don't have issues with that, but without the, we need to understand that the number one priority we have is these children. Because if we don't train them well, if we don't train them well, those things we are making efforts to build for them, they will, they will just destroy everything within a twinkle of an eye. So because of that, it is important that we as parents because everything that is happening, I still want us to know that it's still parents and there is more work for us to do. You understand? Because a lot of us as parents now, we are not really paying attention. We feel like it's just give birth to a child, take that child to school and that's your responsibility. But it's beyond that. Mm. I know as a father, from the day my, my, my wife had what became pregnant for my first child, I started studying about pregnancy. Mm. When they put to bed, I started studying about brain development. You understand? Why am I doing those things? I need to know the kind of energy I need to put in. I need to know the things I need to do. Sometimes what you need to do doesn't require all the time in this world. But just that you don't even know the necessary energy to channel and how to channel it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if I'm telling my wife, don't take this, don't take that, I already know this is the things you don't need to take at this particular semester, the other second one and the third one. I already know every stage of pregnancy. No one taught me those things. I had to go and learn it as a father. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the brain development, I had to go and study it and know what I need to expose my child to at that, uh, at that few months, that first um, year, second year, third year. I, I study all those things. Even at the level where they are, and I'm also studying what and what I need to do for me to be able to make sure I'm, I'm giving them the right thing at the right time. And so, so that I will not be ignorant of anything. I will not be ignorant of anything. Do you understand mm -hmm. it now? So these are some of the work that is expected of us as parents. But parents are not doing those things. We just feel our responsibility is just take them to school. When we feel that, okay, we have the money to buy phone, we'll buy phone for them. We have the money to have a, put a laptop for them, we put a laptop for them, we connect internet for them. You don't know what they are doing there. 
And sometimes, we as adults, sometimes when you open up your phone, there are some things you even see, even you are not the one that opened it. That's the way these children will see it, even when they are not the one that opened it. So we need to checkmate and monitor and follow up on our children. So how do we go about it, you know, for the benefit of those that don't know? Okay, how to go about, about it is um, already some of these app owners have, to an extent, developed things that will help us. You understand? It's just like this, even this TV that the children watch. There are some cartoons these days that, that even adults cannot watch that cartoon. You understand? So even when they are watching it, I, I, I watch them with them. I know the ones they don't need to watch. Once they want to, and you notice that those ones you don't want them to watch, that's the one they are excited to watch. You understand? So I take, in fact, I have, I've also seen the channels that what they are doing is more educative and um, will help the children. And there are some that are making them become more violent. Every day you see them, they want to fight. And they are watching it from cartoon, and you think it's children's um, thing that you put for them. But actually, it's not children's thing. Then when you come to the internet, there are a lot of apps. Number one now is this. You, if, 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 your child have, if you feel your child needs a phone or your child needs a laptop and you want him to have access to the internet, you know, the system has designed it in a way that that child is, that is coming to the internet, if the child is registered with Google or there is any email that that child has, you understand, somehow every activity that that child is doing on that, is doing on that system is linked up with that email. So if it's your own email that the child is using, definitely he can have access to anything. So I always advise parents, any system, anyone that gives a child a system because you feel there is need for that child to use that system, at least make use, even all these um, DSTV, they have parental guide. Mm -hmm. The same way we have it on the internet. We have ones that are free, we have ones that you have to pay. It helps you to check the kind of website your child is visiting. It helps you to check... Um, um, locations the, your child is, they help you to check, um, you can even stop, if, if there are apps the child is using, you can stop him from having access to other apps. There are platforms that can help you do you that. You can tell us them, we want to know, please. Mm, there are a lot of them, but I know Google have their own. Google have Google Family Link. Uh, that one is free. Google Family Link. You know, so that one is free, and um, I think that's what most people use, because a lot of people have Gmail. So using Google Family, then most of those ones you, you now start, if you go online and search for it, those, some most of them are, you have to pay for it. All right, let's welcome this person. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Go ahead. Okay, so um, most of them are, are, are paid app, but um, Google Family Link, you can use that on Android, you can use that even on your OS. So I think we can go with that. Google how does it work? Well. Can you tell us? Mm, how it works is this. Um, when you link, like I said, it helps to, it helps to monitor, check the apps. That you can actually set up the apps, apps you want your child to have access to. You understand? You can also set up the kind of, you can set up the kind of websites your child can have access to. And also, once you use, once you register that child, once you create an account, an email for that child, one, using the age already, Google will filter anything that the child will have access to in terms of videos or website and other things. Then once you link it to um, Google Family Link, it's to be giving you updates. Google Family Link there is to be giving you updates. Should in case uh, of that what the has, child does. Yes. To be giving you as a father or mother updates on what the child is doing. You understand? Whether the child is with you or without you. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what it is. Okay, are there other ones that we may know? Um, like I said, there are other ones, but they are not free. Okay. They are not free, yes. And um, I think um, Google, Google, the features um, Google Family Link has is, is good enough that you, you may not have to think of them. Um, the only thing there is those initial things of making sure you are the email that child is using, you are the one. Okay, now, because of this... Uh, uh, Google Family Link and other apps that you can use to monitor these children. Is there any particular, no, apart from this, is there any particular age that a child is supposed to get a laptop or a phone from the parents? Or can you just 
uh, say because you can monitor them even when they are in just one just two, you can give them Android phone and laptops well when you want to talk about age I don't think there is a particular age. When you see there is now need, because sometimes we just buy that, we just feel like we need to buy it. All right, let's welcome this person. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Your name and your location. Good morning. My name and your location. My location is from Batika. Hmm? All right, go ahead and talk to us. My name is Madam Dabda. Okay, Malam, you're welcome. But the house is in Madam, you are my mother. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. Because the house is in the house is in the house of this electorate. Okay, thank you very much. Because the way you are talking, I'm the house is in the house. What I have to say is that I have to ask a student. I have to ask a student. All right, thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. <laughs> you heard what he said that he has a child in secondary school in just three that he has not given the child a phone. Maybe there's no need or maybe because he cannot monitor that child, just like what you said earlier. So can you talk more on the age? Because you said there's no particular age except where there is need to give that child an Android phone. Yes. Um, to me, there's no particular age, like I said. But you know, there are some schools that they will tell you that um, your child has to come back with a laptop. We can start with laptop. Okay. You understand what the child cannot use everywhere. And if school is asking the child to come back with laptop, they should be able to monitor that child because they're going to provide internet services to that, for that child. Now, if you have children, you can keep a phone for the family so that if you want to reach the family, you can call them. But when a child wants to enter university... In that case, it may not, be, it may not necessarily be Android phone, the one you will keep at home. Yes, yes. Okay. With a laptop, the child can do whatever they need his assignment. The child can do the assignment. You understand? And then um, it is better they are using your Wi-Fi than they are using um, um, that um, mobile data. Okay. You understand? So if you have a Wi-Fi, it's also easy for you to monitor it with an IP address. Okay. But those ones is more technical. Okay. You understand? So th this one I gave you is the one that they can easily do. Okay. You understand? Uh, so when a child is entering university, you know there is need for that child to have a phone. And at that level, even though it's not very matured, but um, at that level, you, you know that, okay, this guy, this person, this child is now already knows, okay, this is what I want for myself. And some of the things you have built into that exactly. child, he can work with them. All right. Well, it, uh, the program is still good morning. And at this point, you take a very short break. Let's feel the pulse of the masses on the issue at stake, monitoring our children's internet. We'll be right back. Uh, parents generally must... Uh, stop the kids from having access to expensive phones. Even if you want to buy phones with them, buy the cheap ones without the internet because it's causing so much harm, so much damage. The kids, they, you know, learn a lot of negative things. If you don't control it, before you know it, these kids will eventually get spoiled. You'll be thinking of bad things. As parents, we are supposed to guide our children, which we are not doing because of our busy life. So I believe that parents should give time to their children, avoid them from using uh, all this uh, phone, especially, depending on the age. Because immediately you open the uh, internet, you will see porn, naked people. And the way they put it, you can't avoid it. If that should be done, it should be under the control of the parents. Like sometimes they give uh, homework and all that, which they will use the phone. Then parents should supervise it at that point, you know, to get that work done. But leaving that answer to the children, 
or maybe laptop to access internet is very dangerous. It's very you should take the bull by the hand. It's what you is the discipline you learn in your family that the child will be take up. So if as a parent I neglect all those things, I don't give them good training. So the blame should go to the parents and also to the church setup. The church also, the church seems to be advocating their problem. By controlling what they watch, by advising them and telling them the, the disadvantages of those things that are watching that are not good for them, and I'm encouraging them to watch those ones that we can benefit from. Number one, by showing them a good moral. Number two, by making them, introducing them to God. Right, we felt the pulse of the masses. Of course, the, some of the, most of them are of the opinion that there is need to monitor these children because of losing them. You know, uh, it's be, it will be so painful in, after nine months of carrying a child, raising the child, only to discover at the end of the day uh, you are raising a monster. You know, no parent, no parent will actually be happy. Some parents will die. You know, now as we wrap up the show, you know, what's your advice to our parents and ha much more uh, have the need to really monitor these kids? Well, um, <coughs> I think um, we need to, my advice to parents is um, I know the way things are and how much we want to blend with the society, but um, I want you to know that um, a child that you raise well the benefit is enormous once that child grows up. And um, the stress will be lesser once that child grows up. Because when a child grows up, like I, talk, I talked about um, university, if you give that child phone, university, there are some things a child will not do. Because at that time, some of the seed you planted into that child, this is where you start manifesting, you start trying them out on his or her own. You understand? But if most of the things that your, your child is getting from you, how much you pay attention to some of all these things also, they will determine the way they are going to pay attention to some of these negative things because some of the things we are seeing and we are complaining about in these children, some of them they didn't learn it from the internet, they learned it from the family, mm. they learned it from the parents. You know, so when we are doing things, let us know that okay, we have children and we are training them both through the things we tell them, both, the, both through the things that we do, and some of the, advi uh, some of the things that we we'll do even in the family. And I want you to know something. If you can train your child in a way that this child will be able to be conscious of the right things, that's the best thing you will do for yourself. And I think the major contributor to that is how much you bring them closer to God. Because if you don't bring these children closer to God, 
no matter every effort you make. I remember one day I wanted to do something and my mom was like, you shouldn't do that. I said, look at you. When I was in school, why are you monitoring me? <laughs> you understand? When I was in school, I don't know. You didn't know what I was doing when I was in school. And I want to do something like this now. You are telling me I shouldn't do it. Do you know whether I was doing it when I was in school? Okay. You understand? Uh -huh. So, um, but I listened to her, but that gave me an idea that, okay, see, when a child is not with you, what he does when he's not with you, that is what matters a lot. And it is only God that can help you. All right. Because most times when we leave, mm. when the children leave your home, like now my children is in school, they are already with, they are already mixed up with other children from different parents, different backgrounds. You understand? And now some of the things these other ones learned from their parents, they are already teaching it to my children. Mm. And when we go to church, they also mix up as well. In several places, these children mix up, and most times these other children will start teaching them some of the things they've learned from their own home. Mm. And before you know it, and you know people easily align with negative things than they align with positive, positive. things. And so parents as well, when you get home. When you see things that is not what you planted into your child, Unteach. your child exhibiting that, make sure you, 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 you try to scrutinize that child and try to stop it immediately. All right, all right. Period. We can go on and on, but uh, this is where we're wrapping up the show for this morning. Thank you so much, Obin Najasimwa Badolu, Chief Coach, Jassi Coaching Services. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. And actually, my name is Nonya Ngokuye. Thanks for your time. Tomorrow is another day. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>